Hi friends, and thanks for stopping by to check out this very important bulletin where we're talking about racism. I don't know about you, but I was shocked this last weekend as I watched city after city after city involve itself and engulf itself in protest as, as, uh, as the streets were filled with people concerned about the racial tensions that exist in our country. Well, I think the church has something to say about that. In fact, I think God has a lot to say about that. So today, I hope that you'll read through the bulletin and check out what the church is trying to say about racial tensions. I hope that you'll join us on Wednesday for our webinar with Timothy Clark, Bishop Timothy Clark, as we explore this whole idea of how the church can respond. Well, one of the very special passages in scripture from Revelation chapter 22, I just read yesterday, and it, it's the scripture passage in which the angel shows the beautiful city of God. And in that beautiful city in the middle is this beautiful river, and on the sides of that is the tree of life. And the tree of life has leaves of healing for the nations. What a powerful thought that is, that God has already prepared healing for the nations. And we can depend on that, and we can be uh, and we can be participants of that as well. And later on in that chapter is another powerful verse that says that the spirit and the bride say come. The bride is the church, the spirit is the Holy Spirit of Christ. And that is our message, isn't it? To join with Christ and offer to the world healing for the nations. Well, I hope you'll join us Wednesday as we discuss further about what it means for the church to walk with those who are struggling with racism. God bless you.